The ghost won't hunt. So we're just making so much more money. But we're all safe. Isn't that fantastic, yeah? When you first start playing Phasmophobia, and I can speak from personal experience because I was terrified going into the harder difficulty modes. It is a struggle to get a lot of money so you can level up and get better equipment. But what if we could keep the low difficulty, but still get way more money? Well, does that sound fantastic, right? Yeah. I think it does. So let me show you how exactly you can do this. So let's say you've gotten to uh, playing intermediate, but you don't really want to go up higher than that. You can see this 2x multiplier, that's very low. And my personal opinion is that you deserve more. So what you need to do is just click on these arrows until you get to a custom mode. And then go into presets and choose your intermediate. Now you have all of the intermediate settings. And now it is time to start upping the multiplier and making you quite a lot more money. So first of all, what we can do is go over to contract. You see you have a very long setup time. You don't need the setup time. Basically no ghost, except the demon can hunt at your starting sanity anyway. So make sure to remove your setup time completely. You can set the weather to heavy rain, can up the doors that are starting open to high, number of hiding places. You don't need that many hiding places. You just need a few scattered around the map. And then you're all good. So you can remove that down to medium. Or if you want 0.10 more, go to low. But I'd say medium. That's more reasonable. The sanity monitor, I like to have this one on, on every mode that I do. So this one always stays on. But activity monitor, it is not that useful. We can turn that one off. I don't know if I've been completely in the way <laughs> of um, everything that I've shown you now. I'll keep this above my head so you can read as well. My bad. I, I don't know how much I covered. Let's continue. Fuse box visible on map. If you play small maps, you can turn this one off because it's either in the basement, attic, or garage or any sort of workshop place yeah curse possession you can leave leave it as it is then we, we move over to the ghost we can up the roaming frequency to high means that it moves around the environment a bit more than normal changing its favorite room meaning basically that the ghost can just yeah change its favorite room you, you can set that to um set that to low or medium when you're first getting into the game i'd say we set this on low because the odds are still quite small for it to change interaction amount this one we want to keep at medium and that is simply for the reason that when you start off your item their own interaction rate is already quite low so you don't want to have this one low as well because then the evidence will take longer and you'll have a harder time getting the ghost before it can hunt so keep that one at medium event frequency though that, that one can be low so the grace period this is a period from when the ghost starts a hunt until it actually can fool you well, you really need 4 seconds because you have 3 pieces of evidence you have a low sanity drain which means that most ghosts can't even hunt when you're done with the contract. I'd say you can keep this at zero or one. But let's keep this grace period at one second so you have a chance to react with a smudge, etc. But still, it probably won't even hunt when you're on intermediate. And the hunt duration doesn't really matter if it's medium or high. You will still be in a hiding spot, right? Keep that at high. Get a bit more money. Fingerprint chance. Keep it at 100%. That's nice because whenever you touch the door and it is a UV ghost, you know for certain that you can either rule it out or rule it in. And then behind me, fingerprint duration. You really need it for two minutes. No, you don't. I'd say 60 seconds is more than enough. So then we move over to the player category. Starting sanity, 100% still. Sanity pillar restoration. You don't need 35. You can... Take it down to 25. Sanity drain speed. This one, I'd keep at 150. If you want to be extra safe, you can even lower this one to 100. Then your sanity will drain very slowly. And the chances of the ghost even hunting is super, super low. And if you keep this at 100, then you can get the grace period to zero. But if you keep the grace period at one second, you can up the sanity drain to 150. But I'd say my highest recommendation is to take this one down to 100%. When, when I first started playing Phasmophobia, I did not want to play around with hunts, get, telling the ghost from that, or just trying to not be killed. That is not nice at all. So remove the grace period and lower the sanity drain. And there you have it, a intermediate, but a multiplayer that is higher than professional and just a little bit lower than Nightmare. There's basically no difference. You're, I'd say, almost more safe in this 
than in the actual intermediate. Just make sure to send the light so your sanity won't drain that much. So now I've, sh I've shown you the mod. Let's get playing and we'll see how fantastic this is. So as you can see, I have a lot of tier 3 and tier 2 items. That is not fair. So let me quickly go over to all tier 1 items. And now we can play. And I can show you how fantastic this will go, okay? There's nothing to worry about, trust me. Oh my eyes. <laughs> don't, don't use this, by the way. I always accidentally put them on because I usually have the tier 2 or tier 3. Completely forgot about it this time. Let's just get the breaker on, like this, and start finding the ghost room. So what you're gonna wanna do, I would probably do a video of this in the future, but what you're gonna wanna do, just go into every single room until you find the dropping in temps. Or just an interaction. As you... Probably could have heard around here, right? So see, you just touch this door. You can see the EMF going up a little bit. So it's either in this hall or in this toilet. Yep, we have this in the toilet. Okay. Yeah, and we got the breath as well to confirm. That is fantastic. So just drop all your evidence stuff in here. Keep the light on. Always, always, always keep the light on. Unless you want to check for orbs, of course, because then, then it's not that helpful to keep the light on because then you can't see shit. And that is what we're going to do now. So please remember to, uh, in every other case, keep the light on because I don't want it to hunt you since you have grace period on zero. And as you, as you can see, we're at an average 97%. And we have found the ghost room, the breaker is on, and we got three pieces of uh, evidence equipment down. As you can see, there's nothing to worry about. And then just continue with this, get all your evidence stuff in. Imagine, again, this is a 3.8 times multiplier, and that is absolutely insane. There is a basic intermediate mode with a little bit of tweaks here and there. And also, if you have a crucifix, remember to use them. I have a tendency to forget to use them, but um, it is very helpful. Especially, again, if the grace period is set to low. So... Touch this door, and since we have 100% UV, if it either didn't show UV, we would have ruled it out. But now we can rule it in, which is fantastic. Let's try this one as well. Are you here? Are you happy? Okay, as you can see, it has changed rooms now, actually. Because the change of rooms is low, it can still change, but it's a very quick fix. So now we have one piece of evidence. We just gotta get the two more, and they're all good. Let's go out and check your sanity a little bit here and there. And since we're going for the perfect investigation as well, remember remember to do all of your three-star photos, all of that good stuff. Okay, you just changed back to this room. The, okay, it's changing this many times. It is not common at all. This usually never happens. <laughs> Twice in a very short period of time. Let's just see if we can see some orbs. Yes, we got orbs. Nice. So we have the Mimic still on the line, remember that. Otherwise we have a Hunter, Obaki, or a Banshee. Are you here? Are you near? How old are you? Far rich. Far rich? Well, UV, Ghost Orbs, and Spirit Box. So we have the Mimic, because... Uh, an attack? Okay. So we got a Mimic, because we got three pieces of evidence. All the Mimic evidence. And, and we got the Ghost Orbs, so um, ruling in the Mimic. There we go. So now it's all about taking the pictures, and also doing the objectives that you're uh, okay with. So for example, here we have, have a member of the team escape the ghost during the hunt. If you don't want the ghost to hunt, that's completely fine. Just live without complaining that one. Also prevent the ghost from hunting with a crucifix, that can also be dangerous. So those two, we're skipping. We're just taking the photos and we got one objective. Since we're at 75% sanity. Let's just pop one of these, come back to 100%. And yeah, they're all good. And we also have freezing now. So yeah, <laughs> we got spirit box. We got UV and got freezing, which is mimic evidence, and we also have ghost orbs. So a little tip for the mimic, which makes it very easy to tell. Always, if you have one more piece of evidence than what you should have gotten normally, then you have a mimic. Ah, showering ghost. Well, hello, hello. We just need two more. See, very high sanity. We're all good. The ghost won't hunt. So we're just making so much more money, but we're all safe. Isn't that fantastic, yeah? You see, this might be a spooky ass horror game, but we can we can still have we can still have fun with it. Okay. <laughs> we took that one, and then the other one that it took too long between the um, blowout and the picture that we took. That gives us a zero star. So when the EMF is dead on these, then you can't take a picture. Just, just so you know, that was not my intention to do this. Not get a star, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Oops, this can happen. So let's quickly find the bone. That is also something you need for the perfect investi investigation, by the way. And they can be the bone can be in the quite like this, a hand on a pillow, quite weird places. So make sure to, to to look an extra time before you leave a room. But there we have it. All of the pictures. Missed one, but that can happen. 
we got the bone and we got one objective. These two was hunt involved. We don't want to do that. It is not worth it. So, the mimic, and let's get going. So imagine you did this on intermediate. Would have been the exact same scenario. You just would have gotten 1.8 multiplier less. 2 compared to 3.8. That's such a big difference, right? So we got 1.1k. Imagine if we did this on intermediate way, way, way less. Almost half this. If you're new to Phasmophobia, I say that this is my greatest tip to you. You don't need hard modes. You don't need Nightmare to get almost a 4x multiplayer. Nightmare is horrendous if you're starting the game. Don't play that. Just get used to the game, get comfy with the game, and then start ramping it up. But while you're getting comfy, why not just get a lot more money, right? Yeah? That sounds great. If you want to see more of uh, just me, content in general, and join an amazing community, subscribe, okay? And if this video was helpful to you in any single way, please like, because it helps me out so much, and I appreciate it. So thank you for being here, thank you for being awesome, much love, and I will see you in the next video, okay? Bye-bye.